coffee. <laughs> Do you have your coffee? Where's your coffee? I had my coffee. Now I've switched to water because I've heard that coffee is a diuretic that makes you uh, dehydrated. So for every cup of coffee, you should probably drink some water. I drink a gallon of water a day. It was. A gallon. I do. Yes. And I have a little bottle specifically for it. And I have to drink four of those a day. And that equals a gallon. I feel like you do it all in one sitting, though. You're like, all right, time for a whole fourth of a gallon. Yeah. If, I, yeah, if I'm behind, I will sit and chug for like an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Where, but, is, where, where is that bottle now? It's in the car. <laughs> I haven't, I'm not off to a good start today. <laughs> You're going to have to catch up because it's already noon. Yeah. <laughs> When we come to California, we wake up at 12, maybe 3, and then stay up till 4, maybe 6. <laughs> so, but we're working. It's still early. It's just different times. Okay, let's start this thing off. We have a few viewers right now. Welcome, Sweet. everyone. I'm Hello. Brad with QSC, and I'm here with good boy Daisy, Hallie and Dylan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Hallie, raise your hand. Dylan, raise your hand. This is like okay, school. So, no. <laughs> So they're twins, and uh, now you know who's who, unless yep. they like go in the other room, switch clothes, and then sit somewhere, and then you wouldn't know where they are. Who they that are. is a possibility. We like to do yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were going to have some music, but today we've decided because um, Hallie and Dylan are in a new location, and the Wi-Fi is not quite as fast as it needs to be. We thought we'd have a little conversation about, um, I don't know, mixing, band stuff, what you're up to. And uh, I have a few questions for you. Sweet. Um, <laughs> let, hit okay, us. First We're ready. of all, let us know where you are and why you're there. Um, we are in Encino, and the address is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Drop the Addy. <laughs> With uh, our producer Nick, um, he is the lead singer from the Rex. And the Rex. We are here to write some songs. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sweet. So Dylan's mic could be a little louder, even. I got you. Always too quiet. Bam. I'm to make it. I'm just gonna talk quieter. It's that's, never gonna get fixed. That's good. I don't need. All this right. Anymore. So on Sunday, the Rex. That's uh, the Instagram account at. T H E W R E C K S, right? Um, hit the Instagram is at We Are the Rex. At We Are the Rex, mm -hmm. just like I spelled wreck. W R E C K, like a shipwreck. Yep. <laughs> exactly like that. Yep. So they have a live um, concert on Sunday, and you yes. guys are kind of helping with that, and you're hanging out and we're having fun. With the behind the scenes. Yeah. So we're creating the set, and we're cutting out felt and making a whole. Big, cute Today little set. Hills. Yeah, we're cutting out hills. <laughs> Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Okay, so um, let's switch over to... I um, I recently posted a... Um, I recently posted a Mixer Basics for Beginners tip. Um, and it was kind of like, use high-pass filters on your, you know, on most of your channels to... Mm -hmm get rid of the low frequency room rumble. And we got a lot of people saying, wow, this is great information. I'm, I'm a novice. I don't really know how to mix that well. Um, send us more of these. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I was just thinking we could talk about some of some tips that you guys use. So uh, let's talk about your kind of your system. Your system's pretty unique um, when you play live. If you don't yeah. want to go through that. Yeah, so when we play live, we have our QSC board in a rack, and then we've got all of our Sennheiser microphone uh, receivers and everything underneath it, and we've all got it in one single rack. And um, yes, wireless mics in ears, yes. And we're totally self-contained, so like we, we take care of ourselves, and we've got our in-ears, and we can have our own mix and everything. And we can put reverb on my vocal and like we can do all the effects that we want on the board, which is super nice. Okay, it's, super, so it's super easy. If you thought about if you if you were talking to someone that is like um, not an engineer type person, singer songwriter or kind of a newbie to mixing, mm -hmm. are there any sort of tips maybe 
yeah any tips that you would you would be able to kind of share um the, I, the thing that i like about the qsc board is that i didn't know a lot about it when i first saw it it was super easy to use though because everything was laid out where i thought it should be so all of the effects and like eq and everything like that that was super easy so there wasn't any kind of learning curve for me which i didn't have time for that i had so many other things to do and that's one thing that i'm like i'm glad that i can just jump right into it um do you have any tips or tricks dylan so do you have like a um a certain eq kind of thing you use on your guitar do you do you uh, kind of are you familiar with that only a little only a little qsc is so great that i just do you guys it's use presets good. do you guys use the presets uh, in we the probably, board I, I, we we i haven't messed with it probably the ones that you told us to use and we're like this sounds good all right, so, so any anyone out there, <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> if if you if I say something, you should try it maybe, and then mm -hmm. decide for yourself. But mm -hmm. yes. one thing that I kind of notice uh, when I'm mixing and it starts getting you know like loud and it's rocking, um, sometimes when you push vocal or electric guitar and it can get a little harsh sounding in certain mm -hmm. frequencies, and that frequency is around two k. And so depending on the PA system, the room, how loud you're playing um, and all the levels, um, I'll kind of cut a little bit of 2K, 2000 hertz mm -hmm. in guitar, in the guitar and possibly in like a soprano, uh, like a vocal, like a, some singers are kind of screechy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that kind of smooths out there. That saves like, them. Know, yep. Yeah. I was looking right now and we have exactly that on our Oh, oh yeah. so that's what you told us. Does it sound good? <laughs> the other, the other tip that I was thinking about um, sharing somehow is setup process, so that you have a successful gig wherever you play. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys kind of follow a process? I mean, my process is this: is I try to go to the venue before the gig like um, a few days before if I've never been there, just so I kind of know what the load ins like and stuff like that if I can. Because sometimes if you have to go upstairs or whatever, then you have to allow extra time for loading in. So then, um, then I generally try to get to the place at least an hour before, um, at least an hour before sound check, mm -hmm. load in. Mm -hmm. and, and then my general my general procedure is put the speak like the big heavy things on stage first speakers and amplifiers, just so you know where things are going to live. Yeah. Then run power and then connect the mixer to the speakers and kind of just get, make sure your, your audio is going through the right places, Yeah. your monitors and stuff like that. Then connect all the mics then do line checks on all the mics yeah. and then have sound check. Yeah. yeah. The, the nice thing about our setup is that we don't have a lot of heavy things. We just have the one rack and then we, we use Kempers. So it's really easy. So yeah. we've set up completely with our in-ears and the PA guy, the front of house guy has everything he needs in like yeah. less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Like it's so <laughs> easy for us. So we're like, yeah, we'll take our time and have an hour sound check, but we'll be ready in 15 minutes. Like, yeah. which is and really so, nice. Sometimes if you're playing um, in between two bands or whatever, and you have to have a fast changeover, yeah, that's so handy, right? That's yeah. That's yeah. We've, we've learned a lot there. Um, Cause we first started out with like the big cool amps and like all the things that were so difficult to handle. And um, just over the years, we've figured out just our perfect setup. And um, I mean, it's like anything else we'll go um, and we'll have a practice day where it's like, all right, we're, all we're doing is setting up today and tearing down and we're going to do it as fast as we can. Um, so that's smart. That's, that's really smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we've got it down to a T now. Yeah, Everyone has a job and it's, it's been so long now thinking about our process cause we haven't had a show. Yeah. So I'm like, have to recap what I'm, yeah. what I do when I show up at a show. Yeah. So that's, that's really weird, but no, we have it all down. I'd say the only thing that takes a little bit of time is getting the frequencies for the wireless mics and the in ears. Yeah. That's the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just connect, though. just getting everything co to connect. And how many wireless yeah. channels do you guys have? Four. Yeah, four. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think four. It feels like so long ago. 
and um depending on like so there's there's it's different issues at different places right with the yeah and all that stuff so you can't just like set it and and it's going to always work at yeah. the, next, the next place because there's other wireless things happening right yeah and so, so there's like <laughs> they're fighting for frequencies and so yeah. you kind of have That's, to we definitely have some, around sometimes some issues that like uh, like Summerfest too, like we, because everyone's searching for frequencies and I have to keep, yeah, I have to keep the board on if we're there early, like I have to keep it on and hold our frequency. It's a whole, like, it's a whole strategy. <laughs> yeah, right. We'd get to the gig or we'd get to the venue like a day before we go on. That's how like anal we are about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. really interesting. Yeah, but any anyone that we've worked with, like front of stage, anyone like that, has always said after our show, you guys have the easiest setup I've ever seen. This is exactly how it should All be. Thanks to QSC. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, you guys made the decision. To, um, your Kempers are rack mount too, right? Yes. Yeah. So you have one rack, a big sort of, I don't know, it's mm -hmm. like a mini fridge, right? Exactly. Yeah. And there's the mixer on top, the wireless under there, and then the Kempers, right? Yes. Yeah. And then you just kind of roll it out. Patch it in. Oh, do you guys have a splitter too? I think so. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the, the mics from the stage go into your splitter and then, then you yes. can split out yeah. to the next, to the front of house snake basically. That Yes, that is what we have. That's yeah. like the best part about it is that we've, um, with our setup, um, it's surprising. Some sound guys are like intimidated by it. So we took that whole part of that out and we're like okay sound guy you have five xlr slots these are yours and you touch nothing else yeah because so. <laughs> it was so simple that they're like pulling things out of the board and everything we're like you don't get it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. these are yours yes <laughs> yes alone. yeah that's awesome yeah that's awesome um so okay so aside from what's happening sunday Mm -hmm. What have you guys been up to the last since the last time we talked? Are you songwriting, doing uh, stuff? What yeah, do you do? definitely songwriting. Mm -hmm. um, kind of just Hallie and I at home doing it together, and then um, we have a an announcement. I think either this week or oh, we pretty soon. Yeah. Yes, which I can't spoil it now, but I I can just say that we are very excited to announce something that we've been waiting a long time. All right. Anyone yeah. who's watching, follow it. at yeah. Good Boy Daisy. Yes. Right. And yep. then you'll, well, they're, they're a really fun follow on Aww. Instagram and stuff. But thank you. But I just heard from Dylan when we were kind of off offline that mm -hmm. you guys aren't TikTokers. Well, <sighs> I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I had TikTok for a small amount of time. I didn't do anything musical on it. I did like art and stuff, but it was kind of exhausting. But I've heard from every single person, why aren't you guys on TikTok? And I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I guess we have to. This yeah. peer pressure is just too much. We're going to have to do it. I feel like you would do well on TikTok. We would, we would have some pretty wild videos. I think. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. yeah. The but. people that I know are on it say it's just really addictive. It is. Like once you I, once yeah. you're like once you're like watching stuff, you just I mean, yeah. So and then four hours later you're like, oh no. Yeah. That's definitely how it goes. Yeah. So I'm thinking we need a TikTok too. So maybe you guys can help with that. We, we would us two and you. That's a great idea. <laughs> We're making a band. <laughs> Let's just make this a TikTok. Yeah. Yes. We'll just, take a piece of this video yes this okay. is our intro this is how we start we just show that we're gonna make a tiktok perfect <laughs> <laughs> but all yes right. we would love to help with qsc anything all right i need a shout out uh and well simons is uh yo what's up what's up? Right. up so he's a really great drummer that will be doing a, a, a facebook live tomorrow with me at one o'clock pacific um, oh, nice. He's gonna play. Ooh, I'm a sucker for drummers. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's awesome. You should check out his uh, Instagram, and I think it's just Andwelly Simons. But he's um, I think originally from, oh my gosh, Bahamas. Wow, wow, that is cooler than Arizona. He has this, he has this sort of um, 
is it called regga, regga, reggaeton? It's sort of like a roots reggae sort of uh, oh, vibe. Ooh. With um, cool. he's awesome. Like he we'll plays tune in. great yeah. pocket, but he also has this sort of influence, like Pacific Islander influence, that um, hmm. is amazing. He's That's amazing. very cool. Well, hello. I don't know if he's still on the stream, but I will, we will tune in. Yeah, for sure. I'm a fan. <laughs> okay, Jennifer. I know her. So Hi, like, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> we've been uh, trading emails a little bit. They have a live stream called 1108. And so go check it out. Yeah, for sure. I love all these connections. These are great. <laughs> This is great. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, well, what else? Like, so um, songwriting, you're going to release something uh, soon. We got to pay attention for that. Yes, yes, we are going to be releasing something. That is the announcement. Yeah. So, like, I mean, everyone could assume it, but it was just like, yeah, well, oh, the shit. band's breaking up. <laughs> Wait, so your, fight. your announcement is an announcement? Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Isn't that great, though? Isn't it great? We keep people hanging on. <laughs> Man, now I'm really like on the edge of my seat. Yeah, we're going to keep you there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Get cozy. <laughs> when is the announcement of the announcement? Next week. Next week. And then we don't even have a date. We just know it's soon. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> Hallie doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, I don't. Leave it at that. What do you mean okay. we don't have a date? No, we do have a date. Oh my goodness. We don't have a date for a, a date. We don't have a date for the announcement of the announcement. <laughs> you should do an announcement of the announcement. Yeah. What's that's that what called? This, that's called this, a, a teaser. Today. It is. It's a be like we, yeah. We just did it. We did. We just crushed it without even sometime, knowing. And it's sometime next week. That's the yeah. teaser. We're just going to take this clip and it's going to be chaotic and everything. And everyone's going to be like, I am even more confused than when I didn't know anything. It was just, yes, but All right. we're excited because we're releasing new music soon. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just in case anyone's wondering who are these girls, uh, they're, uh, the band, good boy, Daisy. And, um, I'd say alt rock. Yeah. Like, super Those awesome. Alt, alt rock. Yeah. And go to goodboydaisy.com and at goodboydaisy everywhere, and you can kind of see what they look and sound like when they're jamming. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, and who knows? We'll make a TikTok maybe. Yeah. And they might maybe make an announcement there. of an announcement next week. You never know with us. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, my gosh. All right. What else? Hmm. I what think else, what else do we have? So, oh, and the reason why they're not playing is because, as you can probably tell with their quality of their audio, is uh, the Wi-Fi is a little, a little slow where they're is it at. Still being weird. It's a little choppy, but you can, you can, un I can understand you. We can, we can piece it together. All that matters is that Brad's happy. <laughs> hey, man. Hopefully, you know the people that are watching right now, they might learn and get to know you a little bit better, which is great. Yeah, we want to know you. That's like yeah. my favorite thing of like contacting people and like talking to people over Instagram and everything. I love it so much. So if you want to chat with us, thank you. How about I love you? <laughs> we finally went over to the comments because we were on the other chat. So we didn't know this was happening. <laughs> didn't know where to find it. <laughs> um so wait, I was gonna ask you something. I just lost my train of thought. I'm such a bad, <laughs> I'm such a bad interviewer. So um, we we have I feel like we've made it very difficult this time around. <laughs> not even. Um, let's see. Uh, you know what? Do you have any shows coming up at all? Like, do you have it? Like, things no. are starting to kind of. I feel yeah. Like around the country, um, friends of mine and artists and DJs are 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 playing um, outdoor sort of yep. little kind of socially distanced shows and. Mm -hmm driving shows and things like that. What's it like where you live? And um, is, the, is there anything kind of coming up for you? Honestly, I haven't seen any shows in Arizona pop up, but it, it's, it's definitely not as bad 
as California. I know that everyone's pretty much on lockdown here. So it's nice to be in Arizona and have a little bit more freedom with it while staying safe. Yeah, I think it'll be soon. But I, we see a lot of bands like doing something like this where like they'll do a whole get up and everything for live streaming because it's going to be like a full show. Like I know a lot of bands that are doing that, which is really cool. Um, and I actually hope it sticks around, you know, when venues open back up because I really like being able to be on live stream and like see their creative take on everything. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Are you guys going to sit in on Sunday? Uh, th- like, what do you mean? With the band. No. There's an, I think there's like a little after party thing, but we don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're just going to sit and hold our thumbs up and be like, this is awesome. Good job. Well, and and look at our in yeah. the room, but not playing with the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They actually make us uh, tear everything down at the end. <laughs> Come on. So, we, drive, we drive six hours here from Arizona, and they put us to work. They don't even feed us. They don't even pay us. <laughs> <laughs> neither <laughs> yeah it is a lot of fun we're happy to be here but but they're helping you produce stuff right yeah 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 and we we wanted to come out and help because we like anything creative like this and we're like i want to come out early before our writing session so we can help make this set and make it look yeah. great and like any way we can yeah and nick's a great producer and you guys yeah yes. great producer are, great person yeah. um yeah, good we've, dudes. I, we've never clicked with somebody like we've clicked with nick um, yeah it's just the first day we worked with him we're like oh my gosh this is something like this is seen. this is how it should be you know this is what everyone is looking for yeah so. yeah you, you've probably worked with a few people where it's like they just don't get it yeah I think a that, few yeah, <laughs> oh. the biggest issue before nick was finding someone that really pushed us to be that much better um mm. it was like oh yeah this sounds good like let's let's this sounds good let's run with it instead of like no, you need to sit down and really figure this out. Um, yeah, and that's what we were looking for for two years, yeah. probably. You know, when we were getting really into writing our own music and everything. So um, we found it. He's that's great. awesome. I can talk about Nick all day. So wait, do you guys have a specific... Um, I know you're wor- working on a few songs with him now, but do you have like a specific goal where you're going to try to do a full-length album and... All that. All the information. <laughs> oh, is this this is the announcement of the announcement? This is <laughs> next what next week? I think this is what some means. Um, yeah, right now we have a couple songs in the works. Um, maybe a couple done. Maybe a couple you'll see soon. Maybe, um, maybe really a single. Singles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. So that I feel like that's kind of the the new the new thing is you release singles. Um, yeah. As, I, as like, what do you think? Like a month apart? Like, what's the right timing that's, for? That's about it. I think a month apart. Yeah. Um, which makes a lot of sense because, um, for me, I don't, I don't know about um, you, Hallie, but I can't remember <laughs> the last time I sat down and listened through an entire album. Um, what? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, it, I jump around. You know, I, I hate to say it, but I'm part of that ADD group. You know, the I'm, I'm one of those kids. Like, I'll sit down and listen to a new single. That's. Two and a half minutes, but I, I won't be able to sit through an album unless I'm really into it. Yeah, unless yeah. you love them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is horrible that we're saying it, being musicians and, you know, very, very involved in music. Yeah. <laughs> saying we can't sit down and listen to an album. <laughs> yeah, I think there is something about, like, having um, a group of songs represent a certain time or, you know, yes. sound or whatever. Um, but But releasing, you know let's say you have eight or something or 10 and you release yeah. them a month apart and then you kind of release the album maybe with two extra tracks or something like that. Um, Keep your audience better when you do that. I yeah. Think. And then I also heard a band that's doing um, that sort of um, cadence, but between songs, they're going to do an acoustic, they're releasing an acoustic version. They're releasing oh. the video. And so there's yeah. multiple releases of the same song kind of mm-hmm. happening, which I think is pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. So maybe yeah. you'll maybe you'll do that with us. We'll do like a version, a QSC version live. Yeah. Acoustic. We would love that. <laughs> yes. Yes, when our Wi-Fi is better and when everything, you know, seems yeah. to be working. That's good. Yeah. Haha, ha, yes. It's yes. You're right. All right, so <laughs> um I guess it's time for lunch for me. I'm hungry. It would be breakfast for us. <laughs> oh yeah. So we got, we just You work the late shift. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're starting late, but 
We're ready to go. They told me 4 a.m. they got to bed. <laughs> oh, oh, my I'm dad's on probably here. on here. <laughs> They're like, my bad kid's staying up. <laughs> we were working. We were working. Yeah, as long as you get your eight hours, though, it doesn't matter when, right? Oh, yeah. That's what we say. That's right. All right. Well, man, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get to hear a song, but it it wouldn't have translated. Well, we'll do it again soon, and then we'll make sure everything's working. Yeah. Thank you for being. Thank you for being patient, and we really, really love these. Yeah. Yeah, and thanks for sharing about your announcement that you're gonna make. Um, of the announcement. announcement. Never gonna let her live that down. I don't oh. know what I can announce. There are players in this game. I don't know. I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> she just doesn't want to get in trouble. There's always an announcement every day, so who knows? I don't know. Yeah. This is this is this is my life now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. There you go. <laughs> okay, so just remember, this is Good Boy Daisy, right? Go f- check him out on Instagram, especially next week. And then start following them because they're super fun to follow and they got great music. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging. Yeah, thank you. Have fun eating your lunch. Yep. All right. Well, hey, have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Signing out. Be safe. (laughs) Bye, you too.